Hey Aquarius, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel and catching your July love reading. If you're new to my channel, please do subscribe and hit the like button on the video and also the notification bell so you can be uploaded to future videos. If you would like to get a personal reading from me, description box below has all of the links. If you are an Android user, you can now download the Instant Go app from your Google Play Store to contact me for readings. Also, um, this reading is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not reply. Just take what works, leave the rest, and let's get started with your reading. I'm going to pull a card from the Romance Angels to see what the love message is. Um, it's, this is a love reading, but it can um, be infused with some elements of family love, friend love, or romantic love. It really just depends. So we keep the energy fluid. It can be at any time. It doesn't have to just be in July. Some of this energy can play out around Christmas. There's just really, I don't control time. I just control YouTube uploads. <laughs> All right. So Aquarius, love message. Love message for Aquarius. What do they need to know? What does Aquarius need to know? Attraction. You, rom you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. I love this card. This card really just represents staying in the moment, Aquarius. You just have to stay in the moment. Don't think ahead. Don't look behind. Just stay in the present. There's this old saying that I once heard. If you have one foot in the past and one foot in the present, you are pissing on today. Please forgive my French. Or, well, it's not French. My vulgarity. Um, all right. I'm going to see if I need any clarifiers. I do. Um, people on the table here, for those of you who need to know, uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Leo, Gemini, and Aquarius. Um, however, um, don't focus on that. You know who your person is, and I'll let you know by the description of them. Okay. Past energy, Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Um, this could have been someone significant in your life, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, male or female, if it's male in more of their feminine passive energy. Um, the description of this person represents being in abundance, very focused on work, focused on their goods, the goods, focused on what they can gain, how to make their life better, um, financial, um, career, money, food, all things that are tangible that are of that are of benefit. Now that could have been your energy or that could have been the energy of somebody else. The queen of pentacles is very sensual type of a person. Non-emotion uh, doesn't come from a place of emotion, comes from a, a place of the senses. See, hear, feel, touch. Um, see, hear, feel, touch. There's one more. I can't remember. See, hear, feel, touch, taste. Um, this is where this person draws their emotions from. This is where they get their emotional feelings from, the senses. So all of the other signs are all about the senses, okay? And this represents this person, right? Um, that coin there represents, um, they derive great pleasure and security and safety when they are able to hold in their hand that which is real, they believe in that which is real. They don't live in a fantasy world. They don't live in um, a different realm. They're very down to earth and very practical. Okay. Um, so that's the description. And I feel like they were significant in your life in some way. It could have been um, a lover. It could have been a family uh, member, uh, someone, a, a family member that was deceased that's passed on um, from your past, someone that was significant to you in some way, male or female. Okay. Um, I was being called to pull a clarifying card for this and I don't really, uh, well, let's see. Okay. So I feel this person was quite content in their life in the past, maybe with you or just in general. 
They just had this uh, energy of, of being emotionally content. Um, if it was a male, this person um, spent a great deal of time with other females. Um, if it if it was a female, um, she may have had a tremendous amount of children, maybe a lot of girls in the family. Maybe there's a lot of girls or sisters um, hmm. and didn't want any more. Maybe this person was always trying, somebody trying to get pregnant many times and it just, it, it brought happiness to them some weird, weird messages. Okay. But let's try to, let me try to stick more with like a love, the love rating. Okay. Um, I do feel like if this is significant to you of a person in your past, um, they might have, as I said, had many females connected to them in the past, but there was also a feeling of always, um, they felt content, emotionally content when they knew when they had security. Okay. So they might have been somebody who was always focused on work, um, and weren't very much, um, focused on you. Okay. They were more focused on <laughs> their abundance, maybe even not focused on having a relationship, just more always looking at their money, 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 money is how I feel. That brought them emotional contentment. It just made them feel happy. All right. The current energy, I, they're still there. Whoops. They're still in this. A little miserly. I feel like this person just uh, didn't, a little miserly. Possessive energy, withholding. <laughs> the tax man or woman. <laughs> this is somebody who just, um, just didn't share their emotions. What was the other message that I got from this card the other day? Uh, cause it's wanting to come out maybe a little secretive as well, or secretive with finances or secretive with, uh, work situations or just, uh, you know, really not there. I don't see this. I don't, I don't see the energy here of being open between the two of you. And it's a challenge to, to have that happen. It's a challenge to be victorious in this connection. Um, this person really is looking for, the accolades, they, they are looking for the applaud. They enjoy that very much. They like being on their high horse a little bit. <laughs> and they're very focused on their work and things like that. Okay. What's driving the reading is a desire to manifest things because I feel like this, I feel like somebody is hiding something and, um, the desire is to like, actually not just take out, not just show the, the pinnacle all the time, but to, to show everything. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if that's you wanting that person to do that. It could be, but I also feel like, um, the, the energy is calling for it to happen. Okay. And again, crowning with the sun is saying to have everything come out into the open. Okay. Somebody's also curious to know if somebody else is pregnant or having a child. That's what I'm hearing. Cause that may, that may, um, have been kept a secret for some of you, like an ex or something. Um, but there's some secrets that are happening here and stuff needs to come out onto the table right now. That's what needs to happen. Whatever's being hidden, whatever's not coming forth or being shown, you know, the six, the six of wands is not afraid to parade around because it's exposure. This, the, the person on the horse here is like, this is me. This is what I'm showing everyone. This is me. And, and I feel like it's a challenge for somebody to do this because they've been so hidden for quite some time. Like they just don't share. So to me, I feel like there's a lack of, um, vulnerability that's playing out here. And let me clarify the magician in the sun. Yeah. Somebody wants reconciliation and to start over, to make a, a brand new start, brand new journey, lay everything out on the table, reconcile, come in peace, sincerity. That's what's driving this reading. 
the sun card, yeah, waiting for that to happen. Waiting for this exposure, waiting for everything to come out into the light, the warmth, the truth, the joy. Okay. Um, you know something? Ten of Pentacles is here. So I feel like what's good in the occurrence, the energy that will occur is that um, this is all going to come to fruition. Okay. Um, this person is really focused on finances, trust, security, safety, and a family situation. This person or you or both of you together, um, the energy is playing out here where somebody is going, I mean, I'm hearing as soon as I get to that place where I need to be, which is here with the 10 of pentacles, having my family around, everyone being financially secure and safe. As soon as I get to that, then things will be different is what I'm hearing. Either somebody owes money, or has to pay something or has some, um, a financial situation obligation. And this person does not have the ability to share in a relationship or to share in it. It's not that I don't, I, I don't feel that this person doesn't care, but they're so focused on their own priorities and what is happening in their life. And this could be you as well, but I feel like it's just the energy that's surrounding both of you. Somebody feels like I can't give another person everything that they want because I don't have everything that I need and everything available to give. Okay. Um, this person perhaps was only able to give their love in the past or, um, maybe sex, you know, but that was kind of the extent of it. They were just too focused on their own abundance. Okay. Your advice here. <sighs> Page of wands. Your advice is to stay enthused about this situation. <sighs> Crazy. Um, you have feelings for this person. You have a crush on this person. Maybe I don't know how old you are. I mean, I guess 60 year olds get crushes, right? Um, and also to pay attention to a child who you're connected to. Okay. A child, a child needs you right now. Um, let me see here. Stay focused on your growth. Stay in as youthful as you can during this situation, during this time. Your advice is also to go out and play and not stress about this person because I feel like, um, they are going to get themselves together. They just, I feel like are trying to get themselves together in a financial way, right? They're not quite there yet. And that's very important to this person in order for them to, um, be together with you. I feel once you are, or once there's, um, enough funds surrounding both of you, then there will be an, um, a, a, the struggle will be over is what I'm hearing. The struggle comes to an end with this connection. The struggle in the connection comes to an end. And I'm also feeling here, it's weird because I never see it. This is a, this is a current card of no, and the struggle is to say yes. So if you had a question, I feel like going into July, the answer is no, because they can't say yes right now, not because they don't want to, but because they can't. That's what was coming through to me. The environment surrounding this person and this them themselves is the star card. This person, well, you know, they could be a celebrity to some degree. The star card does represent Aquarian energy. Um, so I feel like this person thinks about you all the time. You're always on their mind. You are um, always giving to them and always pouring out to them and you are a wish come true for them. Okay. And um, I feel like they view you just as they are. They have very high um, 
a very high view of themselves. They place themselves in high value, but they also view you in the same way. There's almost like equality, which is very much Aquarian energy. You know, uh, there's equality here. Okay, I'll clarify that one more time. Well, once, sorry for the blur, it's getting dark, so my camera. Okay, yeah, this person is definitely trapped at this time. Um, I feel like a lot of their own um, struggle has to do with their own, the choices that they make in their life. Um, they kind of like, um, they might have... Um, a little conflict in their identity. They have a, 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 maybe a little bit of self-esteem issue, low self-esteem issue, but overall I feel they're, they're pretty happy with themselves. But I also feel like they, it, it, they have a, they have a lot that they have to give to either one particular person or others. And it does tend to drain them. And it does, they do need someone um, to give and bring hope to them at times. And I feel like you do that for them. You do bring them hope. You do give them hope. You do find a way to make things better for them. And they love that about you. Okay. So hopes and fears, six of pentacles. Okay. Fearing that this person is only ever going to just give these crumbs, hoping that it will change, hoping that it would bring balance. Um, fearing, there's energy here of fearing that this person gives to you because out of a sense of duty. <clears throat> but again, these are your hopes and fears. And I try not to play in that space too long. The outcome, nine of pentacles, independence, financial independence. This is what this person has been trying to attain. And um, if you were worried about this person being with others, I don't see that they are, I see that they're single. Um, and that they are being truthful in the things that they are trying to take care of in their life. Um, they're not giving you the runaround. They really are having a struggle. Um, and I feel like um, uh, this person is really just trying to be financially independent and, and be able to uh, take care of things. They, and also they want to take care of you. So th this is what comes through for me that in the outcome, this person wants to put money in the bank for you. They want to um, dress you in jewels and, and nice clothing and give you a lush garden in your backyard or uh, somewhere, a, a nice calm, serene place with your pets. Um, there's so much pentacle energy sticking out in this reading for me that I feel the majority of this reading has a lot to do with practicality and finances and career. I feel this person is intrigued by you. The seven of um, cups fell out. I wasn't going to take it, but you know what? I am going to take it. The, they're, they're definitely intrigued by you and you by them. There's an element here of not knowing exactly what to think or what to do. Um, and there's also an element here of this person filling up all of these cups and there's one left and they're not sure, uh, you know, how to do that. But I feel like they're trying. They're definitely trying. Um, however, they want to provide for you and you, they, but neither one of you are coming to this place of like a committed relationship just yet. Um, there's still more work to be done, but I feel like they're going to try to provide for you in some way with gifts. Like some of you, I know you're independent already and you don't need the money. And some of you might just say, you know what? I'm fine without you. I can take care of myself. I don't need to be kept in the dark about all this. You either want to do this or not. I know I'm not advising either way. I'm just saying that some of you could be taking on that energy where then you just go off and decide to be sing single and just be in your own abundance. Okay. So the energy kind of plays out either way, but no matter what Aquarius, it seems to me that the, the most strongest message for you is to, um, 
just enjoy your life as best as you can and stay present and in the moment. Now I'm going to pull a card for from the um, Lover's Oracle deck to see what your angel message is. Nope. Okay. It's actually two cards fell out, so I'll take them both. Look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. It is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. Okay, Aquarius. So these are your messages for July. It's very interesting. I hope that you enjoyed them, and I do hope that you receive something from them. And um, again, if you would like to get any readings from me, click the description box below, or you can join me in the live daily live reads. Have a great July, and I will see you soon. Take care.